Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Gator Easy Grip product review. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I still have it in the box. We're about to do an unboxing. It was sent to me uh, from LK Inc. Uh, in exchange for an honest review, uh, as I always do. And today we're going to start with the exterior of the packaging. On the top says Gator Easy Grip Smartphone Car Mount. Uh, kind of gives you a picture of the, you know, of the product and it's an accurate representation. It has a UPC code. It says for car, which you know, I guess that's understood and tells you ultra stable non-intrusive design allows free airflow from vents permits multiple angle locations to improve safe driving use a standard smartphones or phones with extra large case it can rotate 360 degrees and we'll find out the truth about that here in a second so let's go ahead and open up i'd just like to know these tears here i kind of did that when i was opening up i got big my fat fingers stuffed in there uh, and kind of tore it i also tore it in the front uh, i did not come to me like that but i just figured i didn't want to penalize uh LKE for you know my own mistakes. Uh, so this is everything you'll find in the box right here and we're just going to go ahead and set the box off to the side here. Uh, first we're going to talk about the instructions. Uh, it tells you how to work this duck clamp here which uh, you essentially tighten by spinning that down. Uh, you can as you if you loosen all the way to the left uh, this opens to a half inch and then as you tighten down it can tighten down to you know uh, a minimum. Uh, so it tells you how to work that, uh, it tells you how to use your clamp, and uh, if this thing gets loose in back, uh, you can actually control how hard it spins by loosening or tightening that screw. So uh, I actually like the way it was set right when they sent it to me. I don't see any reason to adjust that screw, but maybe uh, you know you might have a personal preference and want it to be really hard or never move or whatever you want. Flexibility is always a good thing. Uh, however, you know I didn't mess with that screw. Uh, we're going to switch to the other side. This is the simplified... This is the simplified operating manual. It's not a very complicated device. Uh, it tells you to connect it to the air vents uh, and what type of air vents that you should connect it to, that you shouldn't use these types of air vents, uh, the circle ones, uh, without the movable flaps inside. Uh, essentially, I actually did install it to one of these. I don't know why you wouldn't because it worked fine. Uh, I think it was a Mercury... I don't know. I don't know what kind of car it is. A um, buddy of mine has those types. I installed it to them. Uh, it does point them down at the ground, but at the same time, I didn't have a problem with that. So uh, even though they, I imagine there's a good reason not to use those, I, can, I don't know it. It says it's, registered, it's backed by a 100% lifetime guarantee uh, as long as you register it. Uh, so uh, I didn't actually register it, but hey, I, if I were you, I would just to you know, be able to claim the lifetime guarantee. Uh, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the CLA plug. Uh, it has to, uh, It's basically you just plug it into a cigarette lighter attachment. It gives you two USB ports out. Uh, it's labeled here, uh, 1 amp and 2.1 amp. Uh, it's, I don't want to say it's misleading, but just to be clear, uh, what 2.1 amp doesn't mean you're going to plug your phone up there and it's going to drive 2 amps to your phone. If you plug your phone in the 2.1 amp, it's going to draw the exact same current as 1 amp. Uh, that's just the maximum load. Uh, I don't actually have any devices that can plug into USB and draw 2.1 amps. Uh, so, I mean, I was unable to test it. I do have a light com an air compressor that I converted to a USB port and plugged into here that draws up to 1.5 amps. Uh, I used this device to test it. Of course, you can't see anything now because it has no power running through it. But essentially what I did was uh, plug it into the 2.1 amp. I plugged a USB port in here and an adapter that changes it back to the female end of the CLA to plug my home to plug my car air compressor in uh, which says it draws 1.50 amps at max uh, this device actually said it drew 1.55 amps at max while it was filling uh, and I didn't have any issues with that so that will in fact at least do a minimum of 1.55 amps I have no reason to draw, uh, say it would draw you know wouldn't draw 2.1 uh, just to note I didn't try the 1.55 amp compressor in this top plug uh, it says the maximum current output is 1 amp, uh, so I was afraid of burning a fuse if I plugged my heavy compressor into there. And on top of that, I had it adapted five times, so you know I just didn't want to blow this up. Most likely, I, well, I would hope this has a fuse inside uh, so that the fuse would blow should I do that. Uh, but I'm not sure that I actually want, I plan on using this, so I didn't want to blow it up this time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put that away. Uh, but it did work fine. I, you know, I tested my phone in both plugs. It charged fine, exactly at uh, the exact amperage it should. Uh, and then I tried a air compressor through the bottom one, heavily converted, but still draws the same current. So, all right, we've talked about the manual. We've talked about the CLA. Works fine. Uh, now to this. Uh, like it says in the directions to connect it to the air vents. Uh, I of course tried that. Um, and it definitely works and I wouldn't complain too much however there's a lot of other places in my car I would prefer to mount this uh, the thing about it is if you mount it to these air vents you can clip it to the bottom 
So I have this. This has nothing to do with the device. It's just something I'm using to test here. So we're going to set it over there. Uh, this open. This opens up to a maximum of a half inch. So I mean, you can clamp down on anything as about as about a half inch or smaller, uh, and it'll hold. So basically, even if you have it maxed out, you put it right there like that. You tighten it down. And I mean, you can tighten it really hard if you want, and I mean, it'll stay. It's got a lot of, it's solid. Uh, so, but of course, the thinner it is, uh, the better grip you're going to get because you can drive all the way down on it. Uh, so once you drive all the way down on it and get a good bite, you're going to get the best grip. So right there, you can see that. I mean, it's really solid. And you can tighten this as well so it doesn't move, even though I feel like it's tight enough now. Uh, so we really like that. I mean, it holds on nicely and it grabs up things to a half inch. Uh, now, as far as connecting it to the air vent, uh, I connect it to my air vents, and it's fine. You know, I tighten it down, uh, and it sits down, and your air vents kind of point will point down slightly uh, because this, you know, you clamp it to the air vent, and it pushes down slightly. Uh, then when you push on your phone, if you push too hard, it'll kind of like bounce up and down, which I didn't like too much. Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's totally livable. Uh, but at the same time, there was all kinds of better places in my car to connect it to an air vent. Uh, if you notice here, like here, it looks like it has a small hole beneath it. My car actually has like a little stuffy hole between underneath my vents. And it connected perfectly to that. And once I connected to that, it was like just maximum stability. Uh, in my wife's vehicle, she kind of has this like or an overhead console uh, and I was able to connect it to all kinds of little good places on that overhead console except I connected it like this and then I used my phone like that so it's really this is connected near the roof uh, and that definitely provided me a solid out solid uh, you know base so I mean if the only place you have to connect it is your air vent then go right ahead I suggest putting on the bottom most air vent uh, and that seemed to give me the best stability uh, however, you know, you can do it to your personal preference. Uh, with a little bit of practice, you'll figure it out exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the next part of this is that we have this little ball, and you can loosen it right here, and you can have free range of motion and make it floppy uh, if that's what you prefer. But if you want it tight, then go ahead and tighten it down. The more you tighten that, the harder this is to move. Uh, so I didn't tighten it down like, or put all my strength into it, but you know, I felt like if I just tightened it with my fingers to a certain extent, it was fine. I didn't really feel like the need to, you know, make it as rigid as possible, but hey, uh, it's all up to your personal preference. Is that what you want to do? Then go right ahead. Uh, this spreads to a maximum of three and one quarter inches. Uh, so it's good enough to fit, you know, um, most of your solid phones, your iPhone 6s, your iPhone 6 Pluses, your Samsung Edges and all that, none of those are larger, larger than three and a quarter inches. Uh, this is a Samsung S5, no, I'm sorry, this is an LG G3, uh, and I mean, it fits it fine. You don't have to stretch it hard, and it's still got, you know, quite a room to spare. I think the LG G3 is uh, almost three inches across, so you can see you have about a quarter an inch or a half an inch there, so maybe the LG G3 is, uh, you know, a little bit less than three inches. Uh, but once you have it connected there, uh, so we're just going to pretend like it's connected there, and you can see that there's some play if you want it, and you can tighten that down more if you don't want any play. Uh, and then it's really tough. So uh, it doesn't have much play to it, uh, and it does have rotation as well. So basically, once you have it mounted here, uh, we have it mounted to our air vent. You can rotate it any way you want uh, for your convenience. And if it rotates too easy, like I said, you can tighten that screw and it will rotate less. You can, and if it doesn't rotate easily enough, you can loosen a little and it'll rotate better. Uh, but it'll fit a variety of phones. Uh, if you're looking for a phone holder, um, this is a solid choice. Um, it, it can connect to a lot of places in your car. Uh, it recommends an air vent, but like I said, I found all kinds of better places to put it uh, and that I preferred. Uh, this is a maximum of one half inch. This is a maximum of three and a quarter inch. So if your phone is wider than three and a quarter inch, this is not the, you know, not the clip for you. Uh, but at the same time, most likely, unless you have a, like a really large, a large tablet or a really big phone, it should fit fine. Just make sure it's smaller than three and a quarter inches and it'll uh, go right in there. It's got 360 degree range of motion. Uh, it's got plenty of pivot points. Uh, in addition, you can also, if you really... If you don't want to connect it to an air vent and there's something like maybe a slot going this way, you can just rotate this and then clip it that way. Uh, and it works just as well. So, I mean, you have a variety of clip options and, I mean, there may be some reason you might not even want to use it in your car. It's not necessarily limited to your car. Just anytime you want to mount a square device that's smaller than three and a quarter inch in a place that you have something that you can clamp on, this is uh, going to get it done. 
Uh, to be honest, I'm probably not going to use this in my car very much. I'm actually going to use this for when I'm repairing things and I need my phone, uh, you know, and I need to watch a video or I need to see some type of an example where I pull up a schematic on my phone. When I'm working on electronics, I like to have a schematic right there. Uh, and I don't print schematics anymore. I just keep them on my phone as a PDF. Uh, so I can actually clip this to my workstation while I'm soldering and have my phone uh, and be able to scroll my phone and have it easily accessible right in my workstation, uh, which is actually going to be most likely my primary use for it. Uh, so if you're a creative individual, uh, you can use it for all kinds of things, basically mounting a phone wherever you want it. Uh, if you just need something to hold a phone in your car, it'll definitely get the job done uh, in a variety of ways. So you can hook it up any way you want. Uh, it's made out of you know solid what I think is ABS plastic, uh, but the plastic seems of acceptable quality. Everything seems like it's uh, as well made as I would expect. Uh, so definitely something I'm going to enjoy using. Uh, and I do hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.